Early one morning, Gordon's fire would not light. I don't know what's wrong, sighed the firelighter. There must be gremlins about. What are gremlins? asked Percy. I've heard they're little green men who play tricks, replied Thomas. Can we find one? asked Percy. Pa, said James. Gremlins don't exist. They're just an excuse when things go wrong and no one knows why. If Firelighter says there are gremlins, there are, insisted Thomas. Ha! Huh, snorted James. The Fat Controller had heard everything. Silence, he said. I am expecting a VIP, a very important person today. She has heard that all my engines are really useful. Please prove it. Yes, sir, they all said. As long as the gremlins let us, added Percy. What gremlins? The ones in Gordon's fire, sir. That's why he's not ready yet. We'll see about that thundered the Fat Controller, and he did. Gordon, I expect you to be on your best behaviour today. You are to pull the very special coach for my special visitor. But no high speeds, please, she won't like that. Gordon was proud and pleased. He was waiting for his special coach when Percy puffed in with some coal trucks. What's the matter, Gordon? You're late. The driver says there's gremlins in the turntable, replied Gordon. They must be everywhere, squeaked Percy. At last the turntable was mended and Gordon puffed away with the special coach. He was soon working hard to make up for lost time. After he arrived at the station, the Fat Controller became concerned. Where's Thomas? He wondered. He's supposed to be bringing my visitor from the docks. Huh? Off Gordon. Thomas isn't really useful if he's late. But it wasn't long before Thomas arrived. I'm sorry, a cow strayed on the line and we had to wait for the farmer to take her away. But driver says your visitor is here safe and sound. Indeed she is, smiled the Fat Controller. How nice to see you. Who is it? whispered Percy. I don't know, replied Thomas, but the Fat Controller is certainly keen to please her. He's arranged a special party for her. She's got a dog, said Percy. Abuff, off. Come on, Thomas, said Driver. You need a drink. Pa, puffed Gordon. Thomas is just a lazy little engine. The Fat Controller is expecting me to arrive on time. We're late because of Thomas. Gordon's driver decided to make up for lost time. Then there was trouble. I think we'd better slow down. This is an old line and could make things uncomfortable for the VIP. And it did. She was taking a bath and the water was slopping about all over the place. Ooh, she cried. Gordon was very relieved to reach his final destination, where Thomas was waiting to collect the Fat Controller and his special visitor. He blew an extra long whistle. This frightened the visitor's dog so much that he fled from the station and ran into a field where a bull was grazing. The bull frightened the little dog even more. He ran back again, onto the platform and over the bridge. He didn't stop until he jumped straight into Thomas's cab. Off, off. But he had a wonderful ride, all the way to the docks. What's the dog's name? asked the fireman. Well, after today's events, I think I'll rename him Gremlin. The Fat Controller chuckled. In that case, I've met one at last. Ho, ho, ho. Excuse me, sir. But who is your very important visitor? Why, well, didn't I tell you? This lady is my mother and she agrees with me. You are indeed really useful engines. And my mother, of course, is always right. Abuff off. <laughs>